Hi everyone, welcome to our last session of autumn blinks for this first autumn session. Uh, we're going to take a two week break after this and then we'll be back for a few more weeks of fun and stories and crafts. So as I said, this week it's about pumpkins. So if you haven't opened your bag, go ahead, you can open it up and I'll go through everything with you a little later. In the meantime, if you have your scarf ready, if you need to pause the video, go get your scarf and then come on back and we'll start with our scarf some, okay? Let's see, let's go. Shape your scarves. You have your scarf? Scarves up, scarves down. Shake your scarves all around. Scarves up, scarves down. Shake your scarves all around. Scarves in, scarves out. Shake your scarves all about. Scarves in, scarves out. Shake your scarves all about. Right knee. Find your knee. Shake your scarves, fancy free. Right knee, left knee. Shake your scarves, fancy free. Right hand, left hand. Shake your scarves with the band. Right hand, left hand. Shake your scarves with the band. everybody and we'll do our scarf song our other scarf song at the end okay our first story today is pumpkin countdown and this book is by Joan Hobbs some of you might have already gone to the pumpkin patch I know my nieces and nephews went this week uh, Leah and Olivia and Trevor and Weston and Theo so they had great fun Maybe some of you will go, or you might just have a pumpkin on your doorstep already. I have two pumpkins and the squirrels are starting to nibble them, but that's okay. They need to eat too, and I kind of put them out there for that. It's Pumpkin Patch Field Trip, shouts Chip. Yippee, says Curie. Woohoo, says Drew. There are 20 name tags to make, says Jake, for 19 kids plus Miss Blue, says Drew. 18 kids get on our bus, says Russ, but someone's late, says Kate. Wait for me, calls Kiri. Now all 10 seats have two, says Drew. Okay, we can go, shouts Ignacio. I spy 17 orange things that are not on our name tags. Can you spy them all, says Paul. Guess 16 things we'll see on our field trip today, says May. Lots to look at. Let's see, the pages are getting stuck together. Look, 15 Pumpkin Street, says Pete. 14 cars got here before us, says Russ. I hope the pumpkins aren't all gone, says Sean. Thirteen pumpkin points the way, says May. Welcome to my pumpkin patch, calls Farmer Mix and Match. Twelve pets in the petting zoo, says Drew. Six chicks, four yellow, two black, says Zach. Three pigs, two big, one small, says Paul. Two goats and one bunny, says Sunny. The bunny hopped away, says May, but a pony galloped in, says Gwen. Still twelve pets in the zoo, counts Drew. how a pumpkin grows, says Rose. Eleven bees making honey, says Sunny. And we know the bees, we need those bees to help the pumpkins grow. 
This maze has 10 scarecrows, says Rose. Dead end. Uh-oh, says Ignacio. This way, calls May. Come on, says Sean. Yay, a tractor ride, says Clyde. We sit nine on each side, plus two in the back, says Zach. Run on a pumpkin ride, looks like fun. It's picking time in the pumpkin patch, calls Farmer Mix and Match. Wow, pumpkins everywhere, shouts Claire. Eight orange pumpkins tall, says Paul. Seven yellow pumpkins bumpy, six pumpkins green and white. Lots that are just right. Five tables times four snacks, says Max. Three bites, bye pumpkin pie, says Di. Here's our bus again, says Gwen. Buddies line up two by two, says Drew. Back to school we go, says Ignacio. Miss Blue knows one pumpkin song on our bus trip home we sing along. 20 pumpkin pies on the wall, 20 pumpkin pies. Take one down, pass it around. 19 pumpkin pies on the wall, 19 pumpkin pies on the wall, 19 pumpkin pies. Take one down, pass it around. 18 pumpkin pies on the wall. Can we decorate our pumpkins tomorrow? What do you think? One more page. We had fun at the pumpkin patch. Thanks, Farmer Mix and Match from Miss Blue's class. And it's all their beautiful pumpkins. That's a fun story. And I hope some of you do get to go out to the pumpkin patch or you just look at the pumpkins in the store. There's so many different kinds and sizes and colors. So we're gonna do our pumpkin, our flannel board. So if you have your flannel board, it's time to bring it out. Otherwise, pause the video, go get it, and then we'll come back and you can start over again. And this week it's Old McRainbow's Pumpkin Farm. So different colored pumpkin farms, pumpkins. In the book, it was Farmer Mix and Match, and this is Old McRainbow. Okay, you ready? There's a funny kind of farm where colored pumpkins grow. Planted by a funny farmer, Old McRainbow. You can see a red one, red one, red one. A round red pumpkin on the farm. There's a funny kind of farm where colored pumpkins grow. Planted by a funny farmer, Old McRainbow. You can see, ah, uh, what do you think? Blue one, blue one, blue one. A big blue pumpkin on the farm. There's a funny kind of farm where colored pumpkins grow. Planted by a funny farmer, Old McRainbow. You can see a, uh, can you find a yellow one? Yellow one, yellow one, a young yellow pumpkin on the farm. There's a funny kind of farm where colored pumpkins grow. Planted by a funny farmer, Old McRainbow. You can see a purple one, purple, purple one, a plump purple pumpkin on the farm. There's a funny kind of farm where colored pumpkins grow. Planted by a funny farmer, Old McRainbow. You can see a green one. Green one, green one. A giant green pumpkin on the farm. There's a funny kind of farm where colored pumpkins grow. Planted by a funny farmer, Old McRainbow. You can see a pink one. Pink one, pink one, a pretty pink pumpkin growing on the farm. There's a funny kind of farm where colored pumpkins grow. Planted by a funny farmer, Old McRainbow. You can see what's left, an orange one, orange one, orange one. An ordinary orange pumpkin growing on the farm. What a funny rainbow farm with pumpkins row by row. Colorful pumpkins planted by Farmer McRainbow. Very nice, everybody. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm going to show you one of the art projects for this week, and you can do it however you want. You know, you might not wanna have to put it on all the buttons and everything. This is just one way to do it, so when it's time, when mom or dad or your grown-up says it's time, you can take everything out of your bag 
you have a canvas board. It's white. So you have some green paint. There's two different colored green ones in there. And you should still have your sponge brushes from before. So just paint this. You might want to do two layers. You do need to let it dry a little bit, okay? So just put it aside. And while it's drying, you can start decorating your pumpkin. So everybody has an orange pumpkin in their bag and glue and buttons, okay? Now you might decide you don't wanna put any buttons on there and that's fine. Or you might just wanna put a couple buttons on and that's fine too. So once you're ready, you're gonna glue this, your pumpkin onto your green board. There's, there's gave you two different greens so you could have a little bit of texture and color, okay? And then use your glue to glue your pumpkin onto there. And the last thing to do, again, this is entirely up to you. You do your pumpkin project the way you want to do it. There's some ribbons in here and you can just glue it around the edge, okay? So it'd be good if you put your name and the date on the back and then you have something to look at year after year and you can go back and when you were two or three or five and look at your art project. Okay. We'll put that aside and we're going to have another story. And this is about go, uh, go, uh, growing pumpkins, Ready for Pumpkins by Kate Duke, about a little guinea pig. So it's another classroom story. Let's see. I am Hercules. I live in Miss McGuffrey's first grade classroom. It's a good life. The good food pellets come regularly. The water bottle is always filled the first graders think I'm cute. Here he is. He says, you can call me Herky. They like to teach me things. They taught me how to paint. Less full, I learned all about Halloween. All in all, I thought I was pretty lucky guinea pig. I thought I had everything I could ever want. There he is inside that pumpkin. Saving some seeds. Then spring came. The children were busy. They planted seeds in pots on the windowsill. I was busy too, taking naps in the sun. One day I noticed that plants were growing in the children's pots and green beans were growing on the plants. Real green beans. Delicious. All at once I wanted to be more than just a classroom guinea pig. I wanted to grow things too. I wanted a garden of my own. When school was over for the summer, I had my chance. Miss McGuffrey brought me on my vacation home in the country. When no one was looking, I put my plan into action. Luckily, I had saved some Halloween pumpkin seeds. Luckily, I knew what to do with door latches. Most luckily of all, I found a friend to help me. Her name was Daisy. Little country bunny. Daisy knows all about gardens. She showed, me, she showed me what to do. We found a sunny spot. We pulled up all the weeds. We dug up all the dirt. Now we dropped each seed into its own hole and gave it a drink of water. At last, the garden was ready. And I was ready too. Ready for pumpkins. But the seeds weren't ready. Seeds can take a long time. They don't grow faster if you yell at them. They don't grow faster if you jump up and down and stamp your feet. They won't grow at all if you dig them up to see what they are doing. I tried all these things. Finally, Daisy said, cool it. So I cooled it. I tried to be patient. I waited and waited and waited and waited. Waiting is hard. Daisy helped me do it. She told me stories about famous pumpkins in literature. Together we made up pumpkin poems and songs about seeds. There's the pumpkin coach from Cinderella. At last the seeds sprouted. Every day the little plants got bigger and then they grew leaf after leaf after leaf. My seeds had turned into a garden. The plants made buds. The buds became flowers and the flowers turned into very green, small green pumpkins. Amazing.
amazing. Daisy and I did a flower dance every time it happened. It is amazing to watch a garden. The pumpkins kept growing. They were round and perfect and they were mine. Then birds and beetles came. They picked my pumpkins and ate holes in the leaves. Worst of all, Daisy ate some of the pumpkin flowers, my pumpkin flowers. I yelled, I jumped up and down. I waved my arms and stamped my feet. Finally, Daisy said, cool it. So I cooled it. The beetles ate some more holes, the birds kept pecking, and Daisy sometimes had a flower snack, but there was enough for all of us. Sometimes I had a flower snack too. A garden is not a place to be angry in. The pumpkins were still green when it was time to go back to school. It was hard to say goodbye to them and hard to leave Daisy too. But you can't stay sad for long when you have had a garden. This is Hercules. You can call him Herky. It's a new school year. And I had things we were that were just as good as pumpkins. I had pumpkin poems and stories and songs. I had flower dances to practice. At night, I could dream pumpkin dreams. Yes. And I will have another garden next year. Papa brought it to school. I know where I can get some seeds. Like I said, I'm a pretty lucky guinea pig. The story of Hercules. Also in your package, let's see what else is in there. Of course, there's a list of pumpkin books. Again, uh, mostly are beginner readers, chap uh, early picture books. So you can call the library, have your grown up call the library. You can go online, request these books. We have a lot of pumpkin books and stories to share with you. And of course I put in some pumpkin recipes, like I told you, pumpkin soup, mm. pumpkin cookies, pumpkin vanilla chips, some more pumpkin recipes. And if you try these out, please let me know how they go. I'd love to see uh, pictures of you doing these activities too. And if you wanna have a good sensory, nice smelling experience, here's a recipe for pumpkin pie Play-Doh. So there you go, lots to make and do this week. And your final project that you have in your bag, I said, little pumpkin. So this is, not a real pumpkin, so it's not going to rot and you can keep it out and you can have it. And I put some leaves in there for you and some big giant eyes so you can decorate it. I decorated mine. Let's see. I put leaves on the bottom with the glue. I haven't put the eyes on yet, but there we go. You can put this on your table, you can put it in a window and it'll be good and safe. And like I said, it won't rot. Okay, that's it for now, my friends. We're going to have our last scarf song. And like I said, then we'll take a two week break and we'll be back again for some more stories and fun. Okay, so get your scarf out. Let's see. Get that song set up. And please continue to send pictures. We love seeing your photos of you working, of your projects, of you just having fun. We miss you and we'll hopefully we will be seeing you soon. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Here's your scarf. Scarves up and down and around. Okay, get your scarf moving. The scarves are softly flowing. Left, right, left. The scarves are softly flowing. Left, right, left. Up and down. Up and down and around, up and down.
and down and around up and down up and down up and down and around release them up in the air you ready watch them float to the ground release them up in the air watch them float to the ground joined us for our story time after all he does like getting in front of this camera so we'll take a couple weeks break and then we'll be back and our next time we'll be talking about leaves and autumn and the colorful trees until then my little ones take care be safe out there go out have some fun in the sunshine and choose a glorious pumpkin for your house bye-bye <laughs>